And there's so many now, things in the book too that I think people look at it and go, oh, I'm going to read this story of a Medal of Honor recipient who did this incredible thing. But there was so much I was surprised to find in the book that was so deeply relatable to anybody, to anybody. Common themes of just being frustrated with life and maybe on a different level, but the ways that you looked at it and overcame these things, I thought staying motivated, saying thank you and having gratitude for everything, um, knowing that especially for military members, after they get out, there's that identity crisis and you saying you are more than a ribbon rack on your resume. There's so much more to it. So I just, I just finished reading it this past weekend and I thought it was especially for me, I was saying I can be a negative Nancy sometimes. <laughs> and it was a really good, there were so many good reminders in there about how good life can be and no matter what. So, well, first of all, thank you for that. But that is by far the greatest compliment you could give me in my book, because that was my goal and my mission mm -hmm. from day one. I wanted to write a book that transcended all boundaries and, and write something that you didn't have to uh, have worn the uniform and, and uh, be a veteran or have been to combat to pick it up and understand. I wanted to write something that I tried to keep in mind from a CEO to a homeless person could pick up and not only understand but take something from. And I am so happy and thankful and excited it just turned out better than i could have even hoped for i mean evident yeah. by the fact you say you wanted to, to reach all different walks of life one of the most notable people on the back cover here is coach k coach mike shishevsky yeah which <laughs> I, I got a lot of shit for well you know what <laughs> from, from El some people don't like duke but you know what i'm a big coach k guy so i get it well. and i appreciate that are we really gonna make kyle carpenter's interview about fucking west point Connor? yeah did i say anything about west point did i say that anything about illusion. west point that was the illusion that, did i give any any indication i was talking about west point no i'm just talking about coach k he, he's you know a basketball coach to many people. How did that relationship come about? So my co-author, uh, Don Yeager, is very close with him. Mm -hmm. And uh, just having that connection. And, you know, Coach K, huge supporter of uh, the military and with his Olympic basketball teams and mm -hmm. the things he's done throughout his career, he has emphasized and stressed and tried to teach and bring in external motivations from our troops and our military to pass along to his teams and so I am so thankful for him and all my endorsements but also you know the reason I'm not a Duke fan mm -hmm. uh, I can't say I just absolutely love basketball and I watch every game but you know I have Zach Brown mm -hmm. former um, ambassador to the United Nations and my former South Carolina governor Nikki Haley uh, General and Secretary of Defense, former Secretary of Defense, uh, James Mattis, and Coach K. And I did that uh, with, like, the specific intent of, you know, my book is not a military book. It's more of a journey of the human spirit mm -hmm. and trying to reach and appeal and connect with as many people as possible from as many walks of life and backgrounds as possible. I tried to choose my endorsements to be from uh, different areas of life and different expertise and um, you know different uh, types of areas and places in the world. And so uh, I am, um, you know, the endorsements were just icing on the cake. 